Thakur. She is from NUJS, Kolkata, and welcome, Ayushi. Welcome. Ah, uh, आपका बहुत-बहुत स्वागत है भाई जो एग्जाम प्रेप पे and we'll be discussing so many questions. We'll be taking all your questions. And here, but Ayushi is uh, will answer all your queries. Welcome, Ayushi. How are you feeling, beta? How is everything going on? I'm doing well. Thank you for the invite. I hope the session is helpful for everyone, especially like you know people giving clat and everything. Okay, okay, that's great. So, jaldi se join kar lijiye and please do like the session. Please do share it with everyone. And Ayushi, today live at NLU wale session me, jaise aap logo ko pata hai, ham log hamesha discuss karte hai ki kaun se NLU me kaisi zindagi hai, kaisi life hai, kya kuch hai. To aaj ham baat karenge NLU JS Kolkata ke baare me. कि भाई वहां पे कैसा है सब कुछ क्या है ईच एंड एवरीथिंग वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस विद आयुषी एंड आयुषी विल गोइंग टू आंसर ऑल योर क्वेरीज सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द सेशन लेट्स स्टार्ट ऑफ विद द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ आयुषी आयुषी इफ यू कैन टेल अस समथिंग अबाउट योरसेल्फ हाउ दिस जर्नी स्टार्टेड ऑफ बिकमिंग अ लॉयर व्हाट ट्रिगर्ड यू दैट यू वांट टू बिकम अ लॉयर और फिर कैसे कहां से तैयारी शुरू हुई एंड हाउ इट ऑल स्टार्टेड वी कैन स्टार्ट ऑफ विद दैट Okay, yeah. So I think my journey was a little different to most people because initially I wanted to become a doctor, and my entire family is just full of doctors. So that's the path that I was also thinking of going under. But then I realized later that I actually enjoyed, like you know, logical thinking, thinking from different perspectives. Um. So I think law seemed to fit my skill set a lot better, and it helped me. Like you know, I think the way that law is structured it really helps you expand your worldview a lot more. So I think law was a better fit for me than medicine was. So I decided to. pursue that path instead um how like you know the clat journey began i i actually didn't take any coaching at all in terms of classroom coaching or anything what i did was i took you know um material from different coaching institutes i took mock papers from different coaching institutes and i did previous year papers and i kind of made my own individual clat preparation plan to um you know get through it so that's basically what i did to you know get into the university Okay, so earlier you want to become a doctor. You are just like my family. My family is also full of doctors. Everyone in my family is a doctor. So it's like that. So a uh, very good. My movies have joined us. Hello, movies, beta. Good evening, Sange, Kamlesh, each and everyone. Please do share the session in EHV group so that we can have so many students. Or I'm boss. All the questions put sake. Yeah, pe Ayushi se. Aap log ke saare questions ke answer milenge. uh each and everything we are going to answer you can post your doubts your queries i will definitely ask uh ayushi all your queries and ayushi is going to answer all those queries good afternoon beta ji good afternoon everyone so ayushi uh if i ask you ki aapne jab preparation start ki thi when you started the preparation to aapko bhi thoda dar to lagta hi hoga ki kahan jana hai and what was your dream college ki wahan pe kaise pahunchenge kya hoga and then कौन सा मटेरियल यूज करे क्या यूज करे तो देयर मस्ट हैव बीन सर्टेन थिंग्स जो आपके माइंड में उस टाइम पे होंगी तो इफ यू कैन शेयर दोस थिंग्स विद अस कि हाउ यू स्टार्टेड योर प्रिपरेशन एंड हाउ थिंग्स वेंट या सो इट वाज इट्स अ इट्स अ लिटिल टफ बिकॉज़ व्हेन यू डोंट हैव से गाइडेंस इन फ्रॉम पीपल इन द फील्ड इट बिकम्स टफ टू यू नो एक्चुअली फिगर आउट हाउ टू क्रैक द एग्जाम सो व्हाट आई डिड वाज आई लुक्ड एट अ लॉट ऑफ ऑनलाइन रिसोर्सेज अवेलेबल लाइक आई लुक्ड एट पीपल हु क्रैक द एग्जाम बिफोर लाइक टॉपर्स आई लुक्ड एट देयर इंटरव्यूज आई हैड सम फ्रेंड्स हु वर एट एनएलयूज um आई स्पोक टू देम and i understood what they'd done to crack clad the kind of strategies they'd followed um and based on those conversations i kind of finalized study material um and i realized you know which coaching institutes are best which study material is best which mock papers are best where to study gk from so i kind of made my own plan based on like you know already known information from other people um and that's how i kind of made it and i think everyone's plan has to be distinct i don't think everyone can have the same plan because everyone's strengths and weaknesses are very different so i think it depends again on how you you know take the information that you have and apply it to your own preparation plan very true matlab i completely agree with this you should not stuck to someone else plan or ha theek hai you can uh, get some idea ki kaise kiya tha but you should be adaptable in your planning to kahan pe kya changes karne hai kya nahi karne you should be adaptable with that thing so movies is asking a question uh, how did you combat the legal and reasoning which struck me a lot so movies pareshan hai legal se aur reasoning se and is asking you uh, how did you ace that section um so i think legal reasoning especially for this year's class from what i know is very based on how much information you can process very quickly so i think the best way to combat that and do well at it is to practice as much as possible and um like the way i used to do legal reasoning is so a lot of the times the principles are very similar and the principles get repeated a lot of the time so a lot of coaching institutes have material 
where they give theory about these principles. So first, what I did was I read theory about these principles. I read further into those principles. I went online also, like say if there's an IPC concept. Sometimes the coaching institute material just gives a small, you know, couple of lines about it. You can go further and read into it and actually understand what that concept is about. And once you have an idea of the principles, it all just comes down to how much you practice. And I think in like previous year papers in particular for legal reasoning, questions get repeated a lot. So if you run all previous year papers, it's very likely that you will already know the questions as they come in your exam. So I just say, I think theory plus like as much practice as possible. Okay, so previous year question paper is the key according to uh, Ayushi. So please do take care of that thing. But you uh, have the previous year paper is not helpful because the pattern has completely changed. So last two years ki paper in 2020 and 2021. You can go through those papers because pattern has drastically changed now. So it was not so much change, but yes, it's not. So Ayushi, a personal question. How is life before corona and after corona as far as your college life is concerned so is everything ruined or abhi bhi thoda bahut virtual interaction hota rehta hai uh, college ke uh, colleagues ke saath mein kya kaisa chal raha hai matlab how are you feeling the difference between life before corona and after corona um so i'll tell you what used to happen in college at least college like a lot of most of college life actually happens outside the classroom you end up like you know there are a lot of activities you can get involved in like there's not a single day that is dull because you have like you know some sports event happening some cultural event happening um or like kolkata is right there so you can go and explore the city um but what happens in online is it kind of gets a little like that aspect of life gets a little diluted so it just becomes like you're sitting in front of a laptop attending you know uh, google meet classes so it's not as like interactive as it was before but say because i was in my fourth year i already had two years of offline college as well so i already have like you know that like, you know, friends in college and everything. So for me, it wasn't that much of a shift. Um, but for people who were just entering college, I think it was slightly tougher to make friends and make that kind of like, you know, group within college. But I think also online gives a lot of opportunities because things which you didn't get to do before, like say sitting at home, I could do a moot in Hong Kong. I could do a negotiation competition in Australia, like literally sitting from my bedroom and like, you know, in front of a laptop. So those opportunities increase, I think, in online, which were not possible in offline at all. But experience has been entirely different okay so basically uh both pros and pros and cons are there of life after corona so yes there are certain advantages as well as disadvantages like we are cut out from the whole colleagues and all our friends and everyone so both of the personal interaction but yes there are ample amount of opportunities which are there in online world i think that's very true so one more question uh ayushi from kamlesh that is ipc kaise yaad kare uh, how to remember IPC? So Ayushi will help you out in that. Um, so I think it's not like you don't have to remember the whole IPC Bear Act. Like from what I remember, it's very, you know, it's certain principles of IPC that keep getting repeated. So I think understand your theory of IPC first, understand what these principles are that keep getting repeated in papers and that keep getting like, you know, asked in mock papers and delve further into those principles as compared to just doing a very broad reading of everything in IPC. And I think once you understand, so the thing with IPC in particular is that there are a lot of nuances. There's a lot of difference between certain sections. Um, and it's just small things that differentiate those sections. So you have to also understand those nuances. And the only way again to do that is by reading into the, that in more depth and doing as much practice as possible. Because once you say you get that wrong, get a question wrong, you'll be, be able to analyze it and understand why it was wrong. What was that say, nuance that you missed and like, you know, how you can do it better next time. Okay, so I think Kamlesh, uh, your question has been asked, answered. Uh, Movis is asking a question. If we do practice with the book, will it be helpful in making because will it be helpful? I am making because I am unable to do well in online tests and mocks. So if if Movis prepares from books, so will it be helpful? Yes, I think. Uh, Ayushi, if you yeah, I I also prepare from books only. Um, but the thing is. So if you're just preparing from the books, um, the books are giving you, say you can answer questions, et cetera. But when you're doing an actual test, what ends up happening is you your ability to actually answer those questions under time pressure gets determined. So even though you can prepare as much as you want from books, do questions, but you should also do mock tests in like, you know, a time pressure environment to see if you can answer those questions in that time. So that's that's the only like, you know, difference if you decided to win online test versus just prepare from books one more one more thing i want to add to this very correctly said by ayushi uh that is 
देयर आर सो मेनी थिंग्स बिकॉज योर पेपर इज लाइक मोस्टली बेस्ड ऑन करंट अफेयर इफ आई गो फॉर योर करंट अफेयर सेक्शन दैट इज जीके सेक्शन दैट इज ऑल्सो करंट अफेयर सो बुक्स आर जस्ट लाइक बुक्स बनी होंगी एक साल पहले है ना तो उसमें बहुत सारी चीजें नई नई होंगी करंट अफेयर हम नमाज से नहीं पढ़ सकते और सेम गोज फॉर लीगल ऑल्सो लीगल में भी बहुत सारी चीजें चेंज होती रहती है तो ठीक है बुक्स ठीक है फॉर ऑल दो थिंग्स विच आर स्टार्टिंग फॉर एग्जाम्पल क्वांट पढ़ रहे हो तो क्वांट में बहुत सारी चीजें जो स्टार्टिंग है परसेंटेज वही रहेगा वही सक्सेस परसेंटेज चेंज रहेगा वही प्रॉफिट लॉस डिस्काउंट रहेगा वो चेंज नहीं होने वाला तो ऐसी चीजें आप कर सकते हो बुक से बट देर आर सर्टेन थिंग्स विच आर नॉट स्टार्टिंग सो यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड की जो भी ऐसी चीजें तो यू हैव टू बी एडेप्टिव इन दैट केस तो वहां पर ऑनलाइन मटेरियल ज्यादा हेल्पफुल रहेगा वॉट यू से अबाउट दिस आई Yeah, I agree. I think I think for me also, um, a majority of my GK preparation was done from online sources as compared to books. So while I looked, say for static GK, I looked at say you know Lucent and a couple of like you know um, GK yearbooks and everything. But for current GK, it was just say newspapers and online resources like GK Today, Jagran Josh, online compendiums. So you have to, I think, be a little flexible with your preparation just to take into account la- latest developments and everything that are happening. Okay, okay. Uh, one more question from Sakshi. That's a very long question, so we have to be patient <laughs> while reading and listening that question. Uh, Didi, how much time did you spend on self-study and classes? I am facing this problem of managing between the both. I tend to spend more time in making notes after the class. Please tell how to manage. How you manage? So I didn't take classes, um, which is why, like, I can't answer that aspect of the question. Um, but I think. the best way to do it is to say listen to what is happening in class potentially take notes alongside what's happening um revise those notes a day later perhaps or you know a week later so that it's still fresh in your mind and then spend the rest of the time doing that self study that self preparation because classes the amount that classes can give you is making you understand what the theory is but for you to actually practically apply it you will have to spend time on your own um like you know doing as many questions as possible and trying things out so i think just make don't don't compromise on either do like attend your classes do take notes from your classes revise those but make sure you spend an adequate amount of time also on your own doing practice and preparation okay uh one more question with movies is asking movies ne bahut sare question puche agar main usko summarize karu so movies thoda pareshan hai movies is little bit pareshan because uska mock marks kam marks aaye hain so let's talk about mocks ki mock how mocks are helpful mocks mein agar hamare kam marks aaye to how to uh, get away with that thing aur hota hai na kai baar demotivate ho jate hai bahut zyada ki last time to itne marks aaye the abhi itne marks aaye hain and whether we should target marks or we should target percentile or ranks But the mocks, all everything related to mocks, yeah, how they are important. If you can guide us. Okay, so um, I honestly don't think mocks matter much in the sense of ranks you're getting, percentile you're getting, marks you're getting, because every single mock you give has a different difficulty level. Like even if you look at CLAT itself, you know, in one year the cutoff is one fifty, in another it's one twenty. So difficulty level is very different. So focusing on marks doesn't make sense. Even focusing on rank and percentile doesn't make sense because you you. every time it keeps changing there may be different people giving it there may be different kinds of you know things happening so it doesn't make sense to get demoralized if you've got a lower rank or if you've got a higher rank in a mock i think what's more important to do is take each mock as if you're giving an actual exam and from that analyze once you're done with your mock analyze each and every section of that paper so analyze say in maths um say you did well in permutations and combinations you didn't do well in say another aspect of maths so analyze that and understand where you did well and where you didn't well and that didn't do well and once you understand that kind of distinction and understand where your strengths and weaknesses lie you end up being able to work on those a lot more so then think of it from the perspective of when you're doing your next mock if you didn't do as well in a certain aspect did you do better in that aspect the next time so once you kind of understand that it's easier for you to use mocks as a way to improve yourself as compared to use it as a way to compare yourself to others so yeah i think that's the best way to use use the mocks analyze the mocks identify what you've done well and not well and improve upon that the next time i completely agree with ayushi what ayushi is trying to say is प्लीज स्पेंड मोर टाइम इन एनालाइजिंग एज कम्पेयर टू गिविंग द मॉक्स अगर दो घंटे का मॉक दे रहे हो तो कम से कम चार पांच घंटे तो उसको एनालाइज करने में निकालो ही निकालो ये नहीं कि मॉक्स दिए चले जा रहे हो मतलब पीपल डू दिस थिंग मतलब स्टूडेंट्स आर लाइक दैट कि एक दिन में दो दो मॉक दे रहे इज इट वर्थ गिविंग टू मॉक्स इन अ डे और एवरी डे गिविंग अ मॉक इज इट वर्थ और नॉट 
No, I think you have to give an equal amount of time to analyzing it as compared to actually giving it. Because if you've given a lot of mocks and you've like, you know, not actually spent time understanding what went wrong, then you'll make that same mistake in your next mock. So only once you actually understand and the way I used to do it was I used to like, you know, if I got a question wrong, I read into that question a lot more in depth. So I just didn't read into that question and how to solve that question, but into that principle, into that theory, so that if any question comes, you know, even related to that in a next mock, I wouldn't be able to get it wrong because I already know everything about that question. So I think that's the best way to go about it. Spend enough time knowing what you did wrong and making it better. And as I said before, the way I had really done it is I really broke down each section. Like it wasn't just I'm weak in say legal or I'm weak in say logical. It's I'm weak in a certain aspect of legal. I'm strong in a certain aspect of legal. That way you Prop, once you break it down, you actually know what to focus on when you're analyzing a mock. You know what to work more on as compared to just, you know, randomly doing mocks and randomly doing prep. Okay. So basically, mocks are the key. Unko acche se analyze karna important hai, weakness identify karna important hai, aur unke upar work out karna important hai. Then only you can increase your scores. Bahut saare bachche ye bhi puchte hain, sir, score badhi nahi raha hai, ya fir score kam ho ja raha hai. Pehle to itna aata tha, aur kam ho jaye. Yeah, score is not increasing. So answer is same. Ki yaar, aap analyze karo dhang se. Agar score nahi improve ho raha hai, ek hafte tak apni weakness pe work out karo, fir se do char tik prane mock analyze karo, aur fir uske baad dobara se aao, to score apni aap increase karna shuru hota. That's what I think. Ayushi uh, is also agreeing with me. Uh, one also, more question. Also, yes. you shouldn't get disheartened because CLAD is a long, you know, one year, two year journey for everyone. So you shouldn't get disheartened by one mock going badly or two mocks going badly. It's it's bound to happen considering that, you know, each pattern is different, each paper is different. So I think just, yeah, focus on yourself and you'll easily end up like cracking the exam itself. I think that's for movies. Movies don't get disheartened here. No matter what, mock will come out of this don't worry about it okay so uh kitne uh, saal preparation kara aapne okay swati is asking a question ke are you a dropper or you have a prepare along with the 12th or something like that um so again my story was a little different because i uh, right after 12th i gave Good medicine enough to know that. <laughs> i gave medicine i gave the neat exam i didn't give clat at all after my 12th grade and then i qualified neat but i realized i didn't want to do medicine so I started preparing in around August or September of that year. And I gave CLAT for the first time um, the year after. And I got like NUJS in my first attempt. So it was basically, I spent, I think, around six to seven months on CLAT prep. But those were intense months because I didn't have boards at that time. And um, because I had decided not to do medicine. So I had like, you know, time free to prepare for CLAT. Okay. So I usually have prepared in first attempt. Joblog be uh, only once she had given the CLAT examination. So she was a medical student. Okay. So she just changed her field. Okay. Uh, a question is still related to Ayushi. Ki, uh, what uh, makes you choose law as a career? I mean, a question we ask you. So how is it that law ke taraf thoda sa, from need and you just end up in law? Or kaisa lag hai? Matlab, how are you feeling uh, after coming in this field? So I, I think I'd mentioned this at the beginning also. I think law for me seemed to be more like, you know, it seemed to fit more with my skill set. So I was also my in like 10th game when I was deciding what to take. It was always between medicine and law. I chose medicine because it seemed like the more like, you know, um, the more comfortable option for me, considering I already knew a lot about it. My family was already in the, in, already in the field and everything. So that's why I had chosen medicine in the first place. But I think Considering I've always enjoyed public speaking, I've always enjoyed like, you know, logical thinking, like argumentation, getting your um, thoughts in logical order, making a persuasive argument. So for me, law seemed like the more like logical option to kind of um, fit my skill set a lot better. So I saw myself doing law as compared to doing medicine. So that's why I decided to make the shift. Um, and I think I've actually enjoyed it a lot. Like I think it's it's been a good experience. And I think it has been something that I've um, that has fit what I enjoy doing. So it's been a good experience. It's great. Uh, uh, thank you so much, Ayushi, for answering uh, from your heart. I think bilkul, sat, sat, jo man mein bilkul, Ayushi, bhai answer kare. thank you so much. Uh, one more question. I want to attempt exam of 2022. Is it possible for preparing from today onward? This question is very So answer to um, 22 will be in May this year? Haan, May, eight three, three, three months, four months. Yeah, I think it's possible. I don't think 
so a lot of things with clat are um, you know very based on your prior abilities say for example if you've already got a like say if you read a lot you've already got a certain um, you know you you already good in english in a certain way um, and the rest of it can be picked up in not too much time like if you again do targeted study in terms of understanding what your weaknesses are you can pro- possibly prep for clat in 2 to 3 months as well um so i think it's possible but you'll have to do like a little more intense study and actually understand what you need to do and i think the thing that will be the toughest for you to catch up on would be gk because gk is for an entire year that you have to understand so what you'll have to do is you'll have to read in depth years worth of gk within those 3 months so that will be i think the struggle but i don't think it's impossible i think a lot of people have also done it um in that amount of time and have got like you know top universities so it's definitely possible okay so beta it is very much possible uh, according to ayushi also and according to me also it is very much possible if you start from today you can uh, for sure clear the exam legal ke liye best book kya hai clat ke liye okay swati uh, um so for legal i had used uh, shri ram's coaching material and i had just done previous year papers and mock tests that's literally all i done for G- legal because i don't think anything more is needed you just need a little bit to understand the theory and then you just need to i think apply that theory through questions so i had not spent like i had not put too much of um, like you know additional reading into legal okay that's Uh, about legal so ek aur question aa raha hai uh, bar bar ki how many hours you have studied kitne ghante padhte the aur acha ye question bahut bar mujhse bhi bachche poochte hain ki sir kitne ghante padhna chahiye aaj se agar main 5 ghante padhu 6 ghante padhu 10 ghante padhu to kya ho jayega selection so according to you is it something the number of hours matter or the quality of time you are spending that matters ye mera pehla question hai aur agar number of hours hai to kya kuch hame aisa dimag mein target leke chalna chahiye ki itne ghante padhna hi padhna hai and what is the importance of rest all these questions if you can answer them um okay so i don't think there is any necessity for number of hours you have to study that's for sure because it's not like it's a like you know you can sit for 6 hours and also not like learn much if you're not actually working on what you need to work on so i think you like what matters more is the number of hours you spend as what matters more is how much you actually do in those hours and the way i used to do it was i didn't used to set like daily goals like daily goals i have to study 6 hours i used to set say a goal for a week that i have to finish say um you know these co- topics by the end of the week then i could mold my own schedule around determining how many like you know hours i spent per day on fulfilling that particular topic and reaching that particular weekly goal so i think keep your goals a little more flexible don't be too like you know um fixated on the fact that i have to do a certain number of hours per day um you can do like as many hours you can do like 3 hours if you want and that's also more than enough but just make sure that you're fulfilling your either weekly or monthly goals so that you are on the correct track all throughout and i think rest is also very important because um again for people who are preparing for a year and two years it's a very long time and for people especially who are doing it alongside boards you do need to take adequate time to you know rest at, like you know and get your um adequate sleep in so that you don't end up burning out before the exam itself so i think just set goals understand what you want to achieve by when and be very flexible in the way that you pursue them don't get too fixated on hours that you have to work okay so please do focus more on your quality study not on the number of hours number of hours will not uh, fetch you anything so i think that's a very good question uh, hello everyone who all are joining in you can ask whatever you want to ask we are going to answer all your queries but before that uh, thoda sa ayush ke college ke bare mein baat kar lete hain kyunki hamari jo series hai that is life at nlu so let's talk about nujs kolkata yaar abhi tak humne baat hi nahi kari hai ki kaisa college hai kaisa campus hai हाउस हॉस्टल फूड वही सारे आपके डाउट्स की खाना कैसा होता है सर फूड कैसा है हॉस्टल रूम्स कैसे हैं सो इज इट वर्क मजा आता है कॉलेज में कैंपस कैसा है प्रोफेसर कैसे है लाइब्रेरी कैसी है सो इफ यू कैन टेल एस समथिंग अबाउट योर कॉलेज ये तो बहुत सारे लाइक क्वेश्चंस एक बार में बट अम ओके सो ओवरऑल आई थिंक इट्स अ वेरी गुड एक्सपीरियंस बिकॉज़ यू हैव लाइक लाइफ ऑन कैंपस इज ऑलवेज वेरी हैपनिंग देयर इज ऑलवेज समथिंग हैपनिंग अम इन टर्म्स ऑफ लाइब्रेरी देयर इज अ ह्यूज लाइब्रेरी and it's like a very good place to sit and work um it's it's a majorly full especially before exams because everyone's like working there it's a very good place to kind of um work in peace and also like you you get to talk to people because you see people all around you so it's a good like both socializing place and a place just to work um well 
um in terms of hostels um hostels are also good in the sense they have everything that you need um you end up getting a single year like single room by your second year third year um and you have like good enough facilities in terms of having everything that you want near you um the mess food is good i think compared to what i've heard from my friends in other universities i think the mess food is um pretty good in comparison um i think the best thing about like nujs in particular which i think a lot of other nlus don't have is its proximity to the city because i think kolkata is right there so you know you can go walking down to salt lake stadium you can go um park street is just like you know a quick uh taxi ride away um and there are all kinds of things very close by you whether you want to do something like learn a foreign language course um or uh you know play sports at the sports authority of india everything is literally just walking distance almost so it's a very good like you know um place to spend your five years in i think because you really get to explore a lot outside of just academics as well okay thanks uh very good thank you so much for answering that uh, i used to what about extra curricular activities in your college kya kya hai matlab apart from studies gym wagera ya fir uh, extra cultural activities ya kya kya matlab all those things i think sare analysis mein sab kuch hota hi hai to yahan par bhi hona hi chahiye so i'm just asking you yeah so i think nujs in particular has a very strong extra curricular culture like people are encouraged to do things outside their academics and you get a lot of time because your classes end you know um by early afternoon so you get the entire day to yourself to do whatever you want so and i think there is everything for everyone like any no matter what your interest is you will find an activity for you there so say if you're interested in public speaking then you have moot court competitions you have um you know negotiation competitions debates um if you're interested in research and academia you have you know publications you can work on we have a couple of journals like the nujs law review um jills and a couple of other things if you are interested in sports um we actually have invicta which is uh india's largest law school sports fest so people come all over um like you know the country to kolkata and like um like it's a huge sports fest which we organize and we have regular kind of sports events like you know interbatch events and um some really fun events also like a faculty versus students cricket match and all kinds of things that keep happening uh within campus related to sports cultural activities also i think we have almost every week we have a couple of cultural activities like dj night um outlawed which is another massive cultural fest that we host which has like people like local train and all kinds of like you know artists who come in sing we have theater productions um yeah so all kinds of things i think keep happening so there's a lot to do outside of um you know just classes in college yeah yeah thank you so much ayushi for answering in so detail bilkul sab kuch bata diya ayushi ne ek hi baar mein college related thank you so much beta uh, and then once once again a question related to mocks is coming mock kitne dene chahiye ek hafte mein so once again number of mocks ki baat ho rahi hai so is there any limitation on that i mean limitation nahi hai i don't think you should do more than so i think it depends um depends on what stage of preparation you're at if you are at the beginning of your preparation and you are preparing for 2 years then you know one mock a week one mock every 2 weeks is more than enough if you are at the end of your you know preparation and like this is just before um you know clad then you should perhaps think about doing three mocks per week um but just make sure that say if you're doing one mock in one day you also are leaving enough time for yourself to analyze it and um like leaving enough time for you know um like to to make sure that every other aspect of the clat preparation is covered and not just you're not just doing mocks for the sake of doing mocks so i uh, i think 3 to 4 mocks per week before clat i think is adequate i think i had done around 50 mocks before giving the actual exam so um like you can also figure out accordingly depending upon how much time you have left before clat but analysis is also important beta please do take care of it yani ki 50 mocks to dene hi hai chahe wo analysis ho raha hai nahi ho raha hai din mein char char mock de rahe hain 50 kar rahe hain aisa nahi karna hai so it should be like analysis should be done simultaneously or in score may improvement hona chahiye that should be the target of giving the mock one more question related to your college what about ragging and fees <laughs> uh no ragging doesn't happen um at least in the girls hostel so the thing is we made it like at least the the most senior the our seniors made sure that we were never ragged so we will make sure that no juniors are ever ragged so it's 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 kind of a cycle that we're trying to inculcate in nujs where ragging does not happen um in terms of fees i i think it is so there are different fees if you are um 
from like the general category your fees are around 3 lakh 3 lakh per year if you are from nri that is approximately um i think around 8 lakhs per year um and there are certain scholarships available where so we have a merit comes mean scholarship so if someone cannot afford to give the like give the fees then approximately i think 10 to 20 people get a scholarship as well for a certain percentage of um, you know your total fees okay. so there are various scholarships and everything available as well okay so one more question uh, related to like uh, have you taken any coaching or is self study sufficient to clear this examination and if we are doing self study we have to take mocks so all the self study versus coaching kind of thing is what students are asking um i think it depends upon you um for me i didn't think coaching was necessary because so for me i i think that the all the coaching centers were quite far away from my house and i realized that if i had to go and like you know attend coaching that would waste a couple of hours every weekend which i would prefer to spend preparing on my own um and i felt that i had enough motivation to kind of do it on my own and not get like you know distracted and away from my plan so i decided to follow the self study method and i think a lot of people also decide to follow that method and end up doing well but i think coaching centers are also helpful if you think you require them because they help you stay on track and they help they provide a structure for you to kind of you know um to crack the exam within like they tell you what needs to be studied how it needs to be studied um they tell you about you know shifts in the exam pattern and how you have to study with the new exam pattern so for me since i did self study i had to figure those things out on my own so it kind of becomes easier for you if you have someone else telling you how to do it but i think there's no correct way it depends upon your own abilities and your own will and what you think works best for you that's a breaking news that i usually have not taken any coaching so she have done her self study so where from where uh, we can take mocks from any coaching center that's very easy i think uh, someone have asked the question also so you can take from any coaching center mock test series we have in i think every coaching center right so that's what i usually did self study is the key mai bhi hamesha bolta hu Uh, 80 85% is your self study which will lead you to your your dream college that is for sure to aapko khud se jitna zyada time spend karoge utna zyada acha hai aur bas focus karna hai self study ke upar that is something you should do so that's why i usually also uh, did okay ji how to get better marks in rc okay that's a question uh, rc is rc is reading comprehension okay um so reading comprehension i think the best way to do it is to practice reading in less amounts of time so i think the problem with reading comprehension often is two things either firstly it is tough for you to understand what is being said or secondly time becomes an issue and you can't read large paragraphs of information in a large amount of time so if the understanding is an issue then i think you should spend some time you know watching um english tv shows reading books in english um don't necessarily restrict yourself to just reading random passages in english just read in english more in general so you kind of get an overall of understanding of how english is and how to understand english even when it's slightly tough and challenge yourself a little like if you like read like you know say um dan brown books or like you know certain books go a level beyond that read something more like you know read say classic literature or something so that you actually get an idea of how to read things which are more challenging for you and if your issue is to do with the time issue where you can't read a lot in a like you know small amount of time then time yourself and practice more reading comprehensions so say if so far you're taking 5 minutes per reading comprehension time yourself and take 4 minutes next time so just try to then reduce the amount of time that you're taking for each kind of section i think there are also um some websites online which kind of help you determine your speed and accuracy of reading so that's also something that you can have a look into and see if those help you in any way and help you improve your speed and accuracy as time goes by uh, readtheory.org karte thi mere time pe when i was preparing for gre i don't know about today to so, wahan pe kya hota level wise wo log karwate the so timing timer bhi saath mein hota tha to i think you can go for speed and accuracy accordingly level ko niche bhi karte the upar bhi karte the so that that was adaptive so wo bahut acha tha so aisa kuch you can always go for it ठीक है प्रियांशी आई वी हैव आंसर्ड दैट क्वेश्चन हाउ यू मैनेज योर बोर्ड्स विद क्लैट प्रिपरेशन विदाउट बीइंग फ्रस्ट्रेटेड प्रियांशी आई थिंक वी हैव ऑलरेडी आंसर्ड दैट यस अर्लियर शी वाज प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर योर नीट एग्जामिनेशन आफ्टर क्लियरिंग नीट शी जस्ट चेंज हर माइंड एंड गेट इनटू दिस लॉ कॉलेज सो बोर्ड्स के साथ में तैयारी कर रही थी उसके बाद ही करी थी 
But uh, last, I uh, I know people who have done like boards and clat alongside, and I think the best way to do it is to kind of understand what your priority is at what point. So say if your priority is to clat crack, like to crack clat, then before in your entire twelfth grade you should be working on clat etc. And say when it's a month before board exams or two months before board exams, then focus back on your board preparation. Um, and then as soon as boards get over, then focus back on clat. So I think just. Ensure that your priorities are set in such a way that you are focusing on what's your immediate priority at that time. So I think it's possible to, um, you know, juggle both boards and class because so many people in my university also are first time, um, you know, people who've given class alongside their board exams as well. So it's definitely possible. It just matters how well you manage your time and how well you plan from beforehand as to how you'll work just before class, you know, comes up. So one more question that is Pratyogita Darpan Panna Chahiye. Swati is asking a question about PD Pratyogita Darpan. I haven't read it, so I can't tell you further. Okay. Uh, previous year question repeat karta hai. Uh, I mean, kya uh, previous year question in mock paper solve karke qualified ho sakta hai? That's a question from Sanchi. Um. So again, my year previous year paper like questions used to get repeated a lot. Um, because I think the pattern was very similar to how it had been for like six, seven years, and I gave CLAD back in twenty eighteen. So it's possible that it's changed since then. Uh, I still think that there are a number of questions that can get repeated because it, at least say logical and legal, those don't change as such as the years go by. The principles remain the same, the questions remain the same. So I think there will still be repetition in like you know um, the certain questions, but I think something like English. GK of course will change um, depending upon the pattern. Okay. Acha, ALIT, have you given some other exams also like apart from CLAT, ALIT, yeah, for your exam the other one? Yeah, so I gave some, I gave um, others. So I gave the IPU exam. I gave um, the Jindal exam, LSAT. I gave ALIT. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. And there are a lot of other exams also a lot of people gave. I didn't give all of them. Um, some people have give the symbiosis exam as well and uh, certain other things. There's so quite a few exams. Good idea to give multiple exams or to focus only and only on CLAT? Um, so the thing is, the subject and the study for each of these is exactly the same. They're exactly the same paper. It's just like, it's almost like giving another mock because it's not like the syllabus or the, um, like, you know, anything is changing in those exams. So there's no harm in giving more exams, but just make sure it's not like you're giving unnecessary exams. Like say, for example, I knew I didn't want to do symbiosis, so I didn't give the symbiosis exam at all. Um, so just focus on which exams you want to give, um, and preparation for them will remain the same. So there's no harm in giving extra exams because if you look at CLAT also, there are like, you know, 50,000 people or like now I think a lack of people who give it and only say top 200, 300, get the top three NLUs. Um, so the odds of you getting it are a little lower. So you do need to have backup options, um, in place if, you know, you end up not getting CLAT. So something like Jindal is a good backup option, which is why I gave LSAT. For me, IP was a relatively good option because it's in Delhi, so it's near my home. So figure out again what your backup options are and how, like, you know, what tests you need to do in order to get those backup options as well. Okay. And a very, very good question from Madhuri now. Sir, I am having doubt that in NLU, all the students are placed from top five NLU. Is that so? Oh, sorry, so it's a bad thing, I guess. Yeah. So I think, um, so I don't know about top five. Um, in I think NUJS, NLUD, NLS, NALSAR at least, almost everyone who sits for placements ends up getting an offer that they want. Um, but yeah, a lot of people do not sit because a lot of people realize very early they do not want to do corporate law and um, they instead want to do IAS preparation, judiciary preparation. Some people start their own business. Um, some people go into something other than like law, like they go into policy or something. So um, for people who want a corporate law firm job, most people who want it get it. So there is more or less a almost 100% placement rate. Okay. So whoever wants, they get placed. That is something. Yeah, mostly. I, yeah. What, what's your plan? Uh, what, what are you planning? You are, are you planning for corporate or for judiciary or for something else? So yeah, right now I'm planning for corporate. So it's, it's, it's not my placement season yet. It's about to be because I'm in my fourth year. So I'm hoping for a corporate firm as of now. So I'm, I'm so far I've done a lot of disputes related work in law firms and like an internship. So I'm um, planning hopefully to get into a disputes team in um, a commercial law firm. So that's my plan for now. Okay. 
that's great uh sakshi is asking a question that's a confusing question कितने रैंक तक क्लैट में हो सकता है हो जाता है आ, कौन सा कॉलेज बेटा हर कॉलेज के लिए अलग अलग रैंक होगी साक्षी है ना एंड इफ यू आर आस्किंग अबाउट एन यूजेस तो आयुषी कैन टेल हर रैंक वो आप देख सकते हो सो माय रैंक वाज 189 आई थिंक एन यूजेस क्लोजेस एट अराउंड 230 240 आई थिंक मैक्स अम एंड एनएलएस क्लोजेस एट अराउंड 60 नालसर क्लोजेस एट 140 उसके नीचे मुझे याद नहीं बट इट्स अप्रोक्सीमेटली से 100 200 के उस पे ईच कॉलेज एंड्स अप क्लोज इट आई थिंक आफ्टर अराउंड एनएलयू जे जीएनएलयू द रैंक्स गो अ लिटिल लाइक यू आर नॉट श्योर व्हाट रैंक इट विल क्लोज एट बिकॉज़ पीपल्स प्रेफरेंस चेंजेस एवरी ईयर सो सम ईयर से पीपल विल चूज एनएलयू ओवर एचएनएलयू अनदर ईयर पीपल विल चूज अनदर ओवर समथिंग एल्स सो इट काइंड ऑफ चेंजेस बट इफ यू आर टू गेट से अ टॉप 5 एनएलयू इट्स सेफ टू बी इन द टॉप 300 400 ओके सो फॉर टॉप 5 एनएलयू वी कैन से आयु शी कैन आयु शी सेइंग target top 5 300 400 range is yeah 400 500 i don't know exactly around that range okay um madhuri is also asking a question sir can you tell about internship in nnu for um yeah so you get so there are different ways you can apply one is you can apply for an internship on your own so if you are applying to like you know a lawyer or um you know a certain policy organization you can very often just apply on your own through their own like email addresses or um their websites um and since you have like a good brand name you will more or less end up getting the like internship that you want uh the second way to apply is through your recruitment and placement committee so each and every um college has a recruitment committee and each and every batch in every college has one so very often for like especially the top like tier 1 law firms and tier 2 law firms they open applications through your recruitment committee so you apply there and through that you end up getting the internship that you want so you end up getting like um at least you you get to intern like i've interned i think every summer and winter since my second year so i think you get adequate internship opportunities and um good internship opportunities as well in like places that you want to intern at okay uh thank you so much for ayush for answering all the questions let us just take last one or two questions before ending the session because it's too late thank you so much ayush for giving your precious time and answering all the queries ओके okay, uh, एक तो ये क्वेश्चन है आपने मॉक्स कहां से दिए और जीके कब से कब तक पढ़े फॉर क्लैट 2020 um so i gave mocks from shriram um from clat possible and i got the career launcher mocks i don't think i ended up doing them um but i i remember reading a lot that career launcher mocks are also good um and i spent most of my time doing previous year mocks at least for my pattern um and for my year the amount of gk that i done was exactly one year before so my exam was in may 2018 i did started preparation of gk from may 2017 so i think just do i think one year to be safe maybe one year three months just to be even safer with it so if you're doing it in 2022 then just start from 2021 the exact same month in 2021 i think just one year is enough okay uh thank you so much ayushi for answering all the questions which uh, we just asked and thank you so much for giving your precious time on behalf of entire byju's team i thank you a lot thanks a lot and thank you everyone for asking so many questions and still i know you have so many questions if you have still have any questions you can always ask us in the comment section we will definitely reply me ayushi or someone from our team will definitely reply to your queries uh thank you so much thank you so much ayushi thanks a lot beta thank you so much thank you for the invite thank you everyone so with that note let's just end the session and still if you have any query please do post it in the comment section we will definitely reply to your queries thank you everyone thanks a lot have a good day ahead bye bye take care everyone